NewAstronomer.com, Michael here. Astronomy sketching has always been fun, and in this video I'll tell you why. What tools you need, sketching techniques, logging your observations, how to digitize your sketches, and some other challenges. So let's get to it. Similar to regular drawing and sketching, it's a rewarding and relaxing activity. It helps me improve my observation skills because it requires attention to detail. I can appreciate that each dot represents a star that could be light years away and it could be bigger than our own sun. I also learn something new about the object that I sketch, including its nicknames, its location, and other characteristics. Here are some of the tools you're going to need. Since I'll be showing you how to sketch on white paper using dark colors, this is like drawing a negative where the brightest colors you will see will be drawn using the darkest colors. You will need a clipboard, white paper, a red light, pencils, a smudge tool, an eraser, and pencil sharpeners. For added stability, use a stool. If you're just starting out, begin with an easy target. In this video, I'll be sketching M45, also known as the Pleiades or the Seven Sisters. Imagine the circle in four quarter slices and draw the stars within each slice. First, pay attention to the brightest stars and draw them. Use simple shapes to draw more than one star at a time within that slice. For example, imagine triangles or squares. You can draw the bright stars using a medium dark pencil. Don't press too hard so that you can erase any mistakes later on. Unless you have a telescope that automatically tracks stars, they will slowly drift out of the field of view because of the Earth's rotation. So remember to reposition the telescope every so often to maintain the accuracy of positioning of the stars on your drawing paper. The higher the magnification, the faster the stars will drift. Use an eraser if you make a mistake. M45 makes an easy target because you don't need to be in a dark sky sight. The same is true for the brighter solar system objects such as the Moon, Saturn, and Jupiter. Make larger dots and use a darker shade to make the brighter stars pop. After all the bright stars have been drawn, draw the fainter stars using a lighter pencil. Use the brighter stars as guides for positioning them. Imagine shapes like squares and triangles to position the stars among the brighter stars. Use averted vision. Just move your vision slightly off the center to reveal more details. To sketch glows, use the blending stump to lightly spread out the graphite in a circular motion. You can also use your finger to slightly smudge the graphite. You can also sketch some graphite at the corner of your drawing. Rub your smudge tool to pick up some of the graphite and spread it on your sheet. Remember that when you finish this initial sketch, go over the brighter stars again with your darkest pencil.
Don't forget to record the details of your observation. Remember, it's one of the best practices in astronomy. Not to say there's anything wrong with just observing without recording, but if you didn't record it, you didn't observe it. On the sketch, write down your name, the date, and time of your observation, and your location. Record the scene conditions. Was it poor, average, or excellent, or rated out of 5? Include the name of the object and the constellation it's in. Write down the telescope and eyepiece you used. Record a description of what you observed. You can even record your experience in finding the object. It doesn't have to be technical. To digitize your work, you can use a scanner to scan it in and bring it into an application such as Adobe Photoshop. And in Adobe Photoshop, you can reverse the image. Another way to bring it in is to take a picture of it using a camera phone and download an app that will allow you to reverse the color. You can share your sketch and report with other astronomers in your astronomy club, your favorite online astronomy forum, or social media. Interaction with others will help you improve your sketching and observing skills. Some of your challenges include being able to adapt in the dark. Make sure you wait at least 10 minutes for your eyes to adapt. Another challenge would be observing with one eye and the other eye closed. Practice observing with both eyes. If it's truly dark, it's like wearing an eye patch. Another challenge would be fumbling around in the dark with your tools. Bring clips so that your pencils can clip into your clipboard. Or maybe bring a magnetic clip. Otherwise, you can just bring another table, a small table or a stool where you can place your, your tools there. And finally, another challenge would be uh, the humidity. If it's humid, you have a limited window of opportunity to make your sketch before your telescope fogs up. Remember, you're drawing a portrait of the universe, so take your time and enjoy it. If you have any other tips, feel free to post them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.